Hello everyone! In Exercise 2 of Module 4, we will monitor floods using Sentinel-1 Synthetic Aperture Radar or SAR Microwave Remote Sensing Dataset with the help of ChatGPT. Flood events, recognized as among the most prevalent and devastating natural disasters globally, have increased in frequency and unpredictability. Understanding and mitigating the impacts of flooding events require effective flood mapping. Traditionally, images from optical sensors or SAR have been employed for flood extent detection. However, the SAR system is advantageous over optical sensors as it can collect data day and night irrespective of weather conditions. This attribute becomes particularly crucial when considering the often adverse weather conditions during flood events. Now, let's explore why Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, is instrumental in flood mapping. SAR's ability to penetrate clouds and capture data in low-light conditions makes it indispensable for monitoring floods, especially when traditional optical sensors might face limitations. In this tutorial, we will leverage SAR images to discern the situation and extent of floods before and after they occur over a specific area. We will engage ChatGPT to assist in this process, providing instructions to analyze SAR data effectively and contribute to comprehensive flood monitoring. Let's start by typing into ChatGPT. Task. Flood mapping using Sentinel-1 SAR in Google Earth Engine. Instructions. In this instance, we haven't assigned any specific persona. Rather, we've directly provided ChatGPT with its task and the instructions to follow. Experimenting with various types of prompts like this can be effective in obtaining more accurate responses from ChatGPT. Next, we will type, Utilize Sentinel-1 SAR GRD dataset. Copy and paste the collection ID from the dataset. Apply filters on the dataset, such as band and instrument mode, and for the orbit properties pass, use both ascending and descending on the dataset in the context of the flood. These instructions give ChatGPT the flexibility to select the appropriate band and other relevant properties. However, we've specified the orbit pass properties because, in the SAR dataset, Certain areas are covered only by either ascending or descending pass directions, while some areas are covered by both. To prevent any errors in image collection, we've instructed ChatGPT to consider both pass directions to ensure comprehensive data availability. Next, we will define the time period. Apply date filter on the collection for before flood from March 1, 2022 to March 30, 2022, and after flood from July 1, 2022 to July 30, 2022 separately over the AOI variable. Print the metadata of the filtered collection into the console separately. This time, we'll employ the geometry tool to select a random area, which we'll refer to as AOI, instead of specifying a particular country or region. If you prefer, you can modify the prompt at this point to define a specific boundary of your choice. Next, we'll instruct ChatGPT to display images showing pre- and post-flood conditions within the defined time period. Therefore, our prompt will be as follows. From the filtered collection, create a before image by selecting the VH band and creating a mosaic and clipping it over AOI. Similarly, create an after image by selecting the VH band and creating a mosaic and clipping it on AOI. Display both images separately on the map. In this instance, 
We have specifically chosen the VH band to display the images, as it is widely recommended for flood mapping due to its heightened sensitivity to changes on the land surface. We will clearly specify that the VH band is being used in both the pre- and post-flood images, as these images will play a crucial role in the subsequent analysis. Next, we will ask ChatGPT to extract the flood pixels from the images so that we will type, Extract the flood pixels by applying the threshold of minus 20 for each period, before image and after image, and create binary images where pixels are set to 1 if the corresponding pixel values are above for before image or below for after image, the threshold, and zero otherwise. Then, create a binary flood mask by applying the flood image as a mask, retaining only flooded areas and masking out non-flooded areas. In this prompt, we have deliberately mentioned the image's name multiple times to ensure ChatGPT remains focused on the specific variables it needs to process. Without this emphasis, the output might be unrelated or random. The threshold value we've chosen is derived from a literature review. By applying this threshold, ChatGPT will identify and mask out all pixels with values greater than minus 20, labeling them as flood water. For those seeking more precise and accurate threshold values tailored to a specific study area, an additional step can be taken before extracting flood pixels. You can instruct ChatGPT to perform speckle filtering on the SAR image collection. This involves using the refined leaf function, which effectively removes noise from the dataset, resulting in a clearer image for both the pre- and post-event durations. Following this, you can then direct ChatGPT to determine an appropriate threshold value from the refined images and apply this threshold in the analysis. For this exercise, we will keep our analysis simple. Display the flood mask on the map with a red color. Next, we asked ChatGPT to visualize the flooded area with a red color. Now that we have instructed ChatGPT to display before and after images of the flooded area, we will ask it to mask out the permanent water body to fully understand flood inundated areas clearly. We will type, extract the water body by applying the threshold of less than minus 20 for both before and after images, mask out the water, and display the masked water on the map with a blue color. Now, we will ask ChatGPT to calculate the stats of flood water in square kilometers and print them into the console. We will write, Calculate the statistics of flood underscore mask by applying this algorithm with this and use reducer sum to calculate the statistics over AOI. Divide the statistics by 1 million to get the flood area in square kilometers. Print the area into the console. At the end, create a legend to display flood underscore mask and water body. Perform any other analysis you find suitable for the accurate monitoring of floods. We have finalized our prompt by allowing ChatGPT to perform any additional analysis. Now, hit enter and wait for ChatGPT's response. After getting the code, copy it and paste it into the code editor like this and hit run. Here, we have a legend and in-map layers, before image, after image, flood extent in red, and permanent water body in blue, all clipped over the AOI-defined geometry. You can zoom in to any area to verify your results. We also have an area in the console here. In the end, if you want to see how much the population is affected, we can use the same method we have used in our previous exercises. 
we will copy the whole code and then paste it into ChatGPT's window and define the additional steps to mask out the affected population. You can also use the prompt given below this video to perform this assessment. If you want to learn more about flood monitoring, check out our previous course on Active and Passive Satellite Data Analysis Using Cloud Computing for Surface Water or Flood Mapping. The link is given below. Thanks for watching.